Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space with me, Get Daved. So, I'm basically just waiting for a bunch of invasions to finish off. And then, as far as I can tell, pretty much everyone will be dead. Temple of the Aura of Glory. Well, makes people happy enough. Which means they will work harder for less. And I think these guys are pretty much good to go as well. Hova. Always nice to remember you guys exist. You were one of my first early victories. They're miserable. We'll do something about that. Just a couple of gas giants. Boy, it really hasn't amounted to anything. Excuse me. Yeah, they are just poor as crap. Maybe we can get some trade out of there? No, that's probably not going to work at all. I'll be burning the galaxy to the ground anyway. Well, I won't be hearing from them for a while. Be nice if I'd research detect to help speed that up. Maybe it's not too late. Oh, and ESO. Have a research tech, which is the best thing to put on a barren planet. Honestly, at this point, a financial victory isn't exactly a terrible idea either. I'm not going to go for it, but just to let you know, we've got the option. Yeah. Guess I'll go for a crop geneticist. A little disappointed that that didn't lead to anything better. We're really at the bottom of the barrel now. And it comes to my attention that I'm going to really want influence generating from these systems, so... I'm going to see what I can do about that. A little expensive, worth it. I guess I already took care of it here. Yep. And if you want to do something crazy, you can scrap your developments once you've constructed them as well, if you're really into micromanaging, but just keep in mind, you will age in real life as you spend your free time doing that, so it does come at a price. Alright, some pretty good ships ready to go there. Wow, I can totally believe I forgot to build that. And... Right. Well, you just keep on building those weapons. I 
I guess we'll wait till the next wrap is finished there. These guys, though, ready for some frontline duty. Send them on the long, lonely trip up there. Same? Oh, yeah, they just got there. All right. Down south. Not sure when these guys joined the Empire, but they're bringing cash monies anyway. Have some happy time. We'll explore that moon. Alright, that'll treat them well for a little while. Kochab! They were all about the money over here, holy cow. This was a pretty good system as well. The bell of the ball. Not really in a benefit to that one though. Either way, they're taken care of for a little while. And, you know what, we haven't watched a combat in a little while, let's do this. Missiles, 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 rah, rah, rah. Let's go nice and aggressive here. Holy cow. Level 6. Actually, this is a very experienced fleet. Really bad trade-off for me. Appears to not be mattering too much. But the missiles will arrive shortly. Boom. There we go. Green explosion. And your empire is screwed. Good work, one who seeks. I've never been more proud of you. Mm -hmm. And I think those guys pretty much have it under control, so I'm going to ship this other fleet. Up there as fast as I can. They might get there in time to make a difference, they might not, we'll find out. It's not really the end of the world either way. Well, <laughs> it's not really the end of my worlds anyway. Boom. Mundane artifacts. Hooray for more research. Research some artifacts. Yeah, all right. All right. Wit always nice. You know what, have lots of wit. And we're getting pretty close to completing the tech tree. Our research is nice and high. Arid transformation would be nice to have, as well as the enhanced propulsion. Actually, a couple of these. Terran planets, of course, have just great base stats, so they're always nice to have.
just contrasting the two. You know, I might actually like jungle, or pardon me, ocean even better. Either way, we're getting to the good ones. Linking wormholes, I don't think that's going to be that big a deal, just because uh, in my empire... There uh, aren't that many wormholes, unfortunately. I can only really think of the one that's had any significance. And that'll take care of our research needs for a little while. And yes, I ignored the left branch entirely. It probably wasn't a great idea, but at this point, I think we'll be okay. Lynx. I demand you build me another shrubbery. You guys. Population is good. Exploitations are not. Tundra. There we go. Now we can focus on happiness. More population has benefit, but I'm still not gonna, I don't know, we'll just use a couple technologies to improve the uh, food production there. Yeah, with all that they should be okay. Here, have some happiness right now. That was outrageously expensive. I was foolish with my money. And actually, I forgot I'm trying to work on influence over here as well. So I am going to build those uh, influence boosting techs as well. That is a very impressive fleet they've got. Still, nothing compared to what the Cravers were throwing at me, so I'm not too worried. Okay, everybody there, I want you to fly to Nair. Rhyming unintentional. Things are getting started at Rhea. Yeah, this is going to be fantastic. In a couple of turns, the beginning of the end. Just go for research. And Gemini, not developed at all. How crazy. A little bit of an oddball at this point in the game. might be one of the most important technologies in my empire right now. Not for this stage of colonial development though. If we can get this one built early enough, it could have a really good impact on everything else. Do we have the right planet types? Well, there's a tundra. I'm gonna go for it. And we will have the explored planetary bodies as well. Take it back, we need them working a little bit faster. I'm not going for the economic victory, so 
even though I think I could probably do an okay job at it. If we put everyone on just outputting money as fast as we could, focused on trade rather than probably going to war at some point in the near future. I'm proud of you and how you've done. And hyperscale farms, no, that's fine. Three turns, they'll be toast, and two turns, he show will be gone. I'm gonna see if I can blitz through these. Fantastic. Always nice to find a temple. I don't even care what it does anymore. That is going to be exciting. I'm going to have it prompt me as soon as that's finished, actually. That's how pumped I am. And was anybody else? Good. This will be actually quite nice. I'll have a little bit of a like, if I could get the airy system, I'd be able to really go after uh, the amoeboids with a bit of a pincer attack. I look forward to it. Congratulations on our happy announcement. Alright, Hisho, gone. Dave, boss. production here, huh? Well, at this stage I can't condemn such a choice. They'll get there. I wonder if I can terraform them into something better. Even Tundra, I think, would be better, fairly objective terms, especially because they're eyeing for uh, production based here. I'm going to go for it. Or even maybe one Tundra, one Arid. Sort of the first system I've groomed a certain way, but always nice to have the moons explored so you can get some slightly tangential benefits, but benefits nonetheless. What's interesting is these techs are almost unneeded now, based on the awesome research stuff I'm getting now. Yeah, we have these two wormholes that are linked, but or that could be linked, but a pretty minor real benefit. Alright, everybody pull back. Oh, look at how fast I am through deep space. It's beautiful. Also, they can use the two propulsion types, I think, independently of one another for true miracles of nature.
Boy, the computer just really likes to specialize their systems, which doesn't make a ton of sense for things like food. Got a Baron. All mediums, that's fine. All right, they will apparently be busy for the next eight billion years, so good on them. Oh, I won the game, everybody. Expansion victory. I was a little anticlimactic, wish I'd led up to it better. Thought I would have to go to war with the amoeba. Oh, but it's the 30th episode. So it looks like I pretty much had it under control. Economic, <laughs> yes. Oh well, the he show didn't fall. It was just I had 75% of the planets. All right. Controlling dust by the sheer number of planets under your sway. Cool. So yeah, and the, we had three quarters of the economy. So I guess the moral of the story is here. I had fairly advanced research compared to everybody else. Uh, was actually way ahead of everybody else. But with exactly 75% of the planets, I only had marginally over 75% of the FIDs. So, I guess the moral of the story is, once you get a certain distance through the tech tree, you're not really increasing your FIDs production that much. A nice big population, exactly three quarters of the systems. Lots of research. Strong military, but I bet it wasn't... Yeah. I had a smaller, highly effective military, which, by the way, I think is more effective. There was one point where the Horatio were ahead of me in military strength, and you saw what I did to their fleets, so... You're better off just having a small number of juggernauts that can take out many. The only... You have some advantages in doing things like blockading with a larger fleet. You have some advantages, like... Um... wait for it. Well, blockading is helpful anyway. So yeah, I'm a bit more of a fan of the concentrated fleet, but that's the same as any of my LPs and strategy games. And that's it for Endless Space, I guess. Wow, sorry for the anticlimactic ending. And we're done! No cutscene. Um, there was a lot of... It was kind of weird. There was some controversy in the comment sections at the first part of the LP. Some people said they bought the game. Other people were like... The game's too aseptic, and I mean, we had that conversation earlier in the LP. Um, it is a good game. Uh, I do hope development continues on it. Some things could uh, obviously be improved, but it does have some really compelling elements to it. The FID system I really think is great and forces all sorts of wonderful dilemmas on you, and I mean, that battle with the Cravers was epic, and people were like anxious in the comments section. It's like, Dave, do this! No, do this! Um, so I mean, when you can get that type of, uh, tension in a game, it's a good sign. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next Let's Play, everybody. Thanks for joining me for Let's Play Endless Space.